our viewer question today, they have asked you, which do you think is best, white or brown rice? Oh, well, there's no question, uh, but I've got to say no question with an asterisk next to it, uh, thanks to the 21st century that we live in. Now, there's no question that brown rice is uh, superior to white rice. Uh, it still has uh, the bran and the and uh, some of the outer hull. It's got as high in fiber. It's got more B vitamins. Uh, and we know that uh, when they started polishing rice and getting rid of the the hull and the bran, we just left with that starchy white rice. Uh, back when that was the staple in China, people began developing uh, pellagra and uh, nutritional deficiency diseases. There's no question that uh, brown rice uh, has far more of the natural rice nutrients uh, that's what's making it brown. Uh, so the answer should be, and back in the 1970s and 80s, when I was first getting into natural healthy foods, brown rice, brown rice, sure ate a lot of it. Uh, but welcome to 21st century. Uh, we've not been treating the soils of our country and our planet uh, gently. And uh, they've uh, been spraying a lot of arsenic-based uh, pesticides and herbicides uh, onto fields where they are now growing rice. Uh, and as a result, a uh, significant amount of the rice being harvested has significant levels of arsenic in it. And uh, the organic ones out in California have less arsenic, but there's no, no, there's no arsenic free rice these days. And it's certainly taken the joy out of rice eating for me. And uh, where we used to have you know, a few times a week, uh, we have it maybe once a month now. Uh, I, I, we've really replaced it with non rice grains. We eat a lot more quinoa, a lot more millet. Uh, we're getting into farro. If you don't know farro, it's a wonderful chewy grain. Uh, so we, we've moved away from rice. And, and that once a month when we make the rice, uh, we do it like uh, our dietitian Jeff Novick recommends. Uh, uh, we uh, put a big pot of, of water on the stove, put in way more water than you'd use for rice. Uh, and if it, you know, usually with rice is uh, two to one, up, up to four to one uh, water to rice. Uh, we, we just almost fill the pot up there, like 16 to one, boil it and boil it and boil it. Uh, till the, we're, the rice is ready, and then we uh, and then we spill off the water, and and, and hopefully a lot of the arsenic and impurities that go with the, into the rinse water there, or rinse it once or twice, and uh, and so that's how we make rice these days. Uh, but again, we eat it very seldom. So long answer, brown rice absolutely uh, would be uh, uh, the healthier choice from a nutritional point of view, but. Um, See if you can, wherever you are in, in the country or the world, uh, write to the company or whatever dealer uh, you get your rice from and see if you can track down, uh, do you monitor for arsenic and what's your latest readings? Uh, arsenic is a carcinogen, it causes cancer and, and probably brain damage. Uh, and so it's a little spooky. Well, I, I haven't had my monthly arsenic fashion. I said, uh, <laughs> at least let's, let's make some arsenic soap rice you know, this month. And so, um, so again, another casualty of uh, the way we've been treating the earth and our, uh, our precious environment. So uh, that's the answer. It should be brown rice, but so check out those non-rice grains. You'll, it's a wonderful taste adventure. You'll, you'll really enjoy getting to know some of these other grains. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.